Hey, you know that one show with the three high school girls working for a secret organization who are also all about fashion, exotic places, and boys? I'm asking for a friend. By the way, good morning. My name is Jason Blade, and today I'm going to be reviewing Totally Spy Season 1. <laughs> All right, I'll admit it. This is a guilty pleasure show growing up. After taking the time to binge watch it the past few days, it really did give nice memories of when I watched it. I always thought spies were like the coolest things, with Spykins and GoldenEye 007 being a part of my childhood, it was obvious at the time that I was going to be hooked to the show, no matter how feminine it looked. Totally Spies Season 1 first aired in France from November 2001 to June 2002. It's about three high school girls named Clover, Sam, and Alex who worked as spies for a secret agency called WHOOP, the World Organization of Human Protection. They spend their days going on missions, saving the world, and keeping up with the latest trends and boys. The intro to the show really knows how to set the tone. The music itself is an up-tempo 60s surf rock theme, and the visuals scream early 2000s with a sitcom-like intro. The transitions throughout it are fast-paced and action-packed. It's a theme I can never get enough of with how cheesy it is, because that's exactly what the show is. Super cheesy. <laughs> The story isn't something that you can be very impressed by. It's more episodic and all of the characters are stereotypical and one-dimensional. And each episode has the same pattern. Somewhere in the world, something majorly positive is happening, then BOOM! Something gets destroyed or stolen. Then a crappy transition later, we get to see what the girls are up to that may have something to do with boys or their rival Mandy. Then they get sucked up or whooped by Jerry. Jerry introduces the mission and gadgets that will be used throughout the episode very quickly. Girls get whooped out, goes around the world, one of them gets kidnapped, transformed, or hypnotized. Then all of them gets caught, evil guy explains evil master plan, cause spies. Spies escape, captures the bad guy, goes back to school, and maybe learn a life lesson. That is every single episode of this season. But does it work? Yes! This is a show that really doesn't take itself seriously in the slightest. Totally Spies is very fast paced and can be fun to watch depending on the theme of each episode, which what carries the series. Which can... perk some interest. This is the best way I can say this, but um... <laughs> you see... <laughs> when I watched season one again, the show... The show has... <sighs> the show may or may not have episodes that are very fetish-based. Yeah. The amount of pandering and service for these freaking kinks is so in your face in each episode that if you were to judge someone that's into that kink that was featured, the show will end up throwing your kink in the next one because they don't want your buddy feeling left out. <laughs> it's like a fetish-craved Oprah Winfrey that enjoys getting you into the weirdest crap that's out there until you finally say, Yeah, I'm into that. From a fat fetish to transformation to micro, they go all in. They go all in. Anyways, going back to the characters, they are very one-dimensional as I said earlier, with Sam being the smart but reserved, Alex being the athletic but dumb, and Clover being the outgoing but hot-headed. The girls really do work as a cohesive unit, working out each other's flaws and being there for each other. The actresses Jennifer Hill as Sam, Andrea Baker as Clover, and Katie Lay, I hope I'm saying that right, as Alex, did a fantastic job betraying these girls. Jerry, on the other hand, is okay. He doesn't really stand out as more than your usual spy boss giving you your mission and your gadgets, and being the annoying granddad with his wonderful puns. Afternoon, ladies. So good of you to pop in. Good morning, ladies. Looks like you've literally shopped till you've dropped, eh? So glad you could breeze through, girls. Mandy is your stereotypical bully girl because every girl at high school show needs one of those. And the villains? <sighs> oh boy, the villains. 
You know, there's an episode where one villain was going to try to end the world by cookies, and the reason is because she got kicked out of her troop for eating the cookie products. That should tell you about the personalities of these villains. Most of the reasonings behind each villain is just idiotic. What dude thinks that kidnapping world geniuses to suck their brains into their child to prevent them from getting bullied? Who thought building robot cheerleaders to destroy cheerleading because they couldn't make the team for their school? Just who? WHO? None of the villains stood out and it really shows that you have to turn your brain off for any of their purposes to make sense. For the music, it really does scream variety. Each track has its own unique sense of style that fits each scene perfectly. It's especially the case when they travel worldwide. It sets the mood and it never feels out of place. A lot of the tracks are simple, but it gets the job done and can be refreshing if you hadn't heard a certain track in a while. Visually, it doesn't age very well compared to the shows that came out of the early 2000s. It's not afraid to show that a lot of the style is based on those old animes. However, the lip syncing is subpar at best and the action scenes are below average. What I can give it is the amount of thought for the color choices and the creative gadgets that they used. The way they used an everyday tool and turn it into a spy gadget is very creative and reminds me of how the kids next door uses this concept. Overall, the show is nothing but pure mindless fun. The show has a more nostalgic feel to it and its up-tempo style really works. The idea of mixing fashion and secret spies is enjoyable to see. However, the characters themselves are one-dimensional and there isn't much of an ongoing story for the characters to build upon. I would recommend this to folks who are more interested in having fun watching a more action-packed and faster-paced show that doesn't focus much on the overall story. If you want to see Season 1 and the rest of the series, you can go to the official Totally Spies channel on YouTube. It has all 6 seasons for you to binge to your heart's content. If you've already seen the entire series, I would love to hear what you think of the show in the comment section below. Thank you guys for taking the time to see this review. If you want to see more, you can click the subscribe and bell icons to get the latest from me. Until then, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.